Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Will Scully with AudioSavings.com. We're hanging out at the PreSonus booth. We got Matt over here. Today we're gonna uh, talk about the Studio Live AI. It's a, it's a very, very fully functional mixer we got here for a studio and live use. But uh, Matt, kick it off. What, uh, what do we got that's new with the AI and, uh, and with this board specifically? Okay, well, um, what AI stands for is Active Integration. And the reason we call it that is because it's a whole workflow. It's a whole system. So. Just to go over a few things that are different to start off about this board versus our first generation mixers. Um, we have a 32 channel board that has mute groups and mixed scenes. And then that, that came out first, uh, early this year. And then we later on came out with a 24 channel and a 16 channel. So now we have the full line of them. But there are a few things that separate uh, these from the old ones such as, you know, like the 32 channel board has new groups and mix scenes. What you don't see those buttons physically on here, but we give you that capability of the software. So even though it's a smaller form factor and there's no place for the buttons, we added it in the software so that people can use that functionality, such as, you know, in our VSL software, you know, for this board, you have new groups and you have mix scenes available even though it's not here on the board. So we added functionality that's in the 32 channel to the other boards so that they all have a lot of capability. Um, Fantastic. Let me uh, let me ask okay. you just a, a couple quick questions as well. And, and this is cool. I mean, the software looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, questions. Talk to us about the pre's and the hardware. Talk to sure. us about, I mean, are we looking at automated uh, faders and, and, uh, and, you know, even scene selection with this board? Well, we, um, we don't have motorized faders. Um, we have what we call locate mode and locate mode shows you where your faders should be. Um, people ask us about motorized faders a lot. Uh, we're talking about possible future products with motorized faders. We don't have any information on that exactly right now. Sure. But it's, it's in discussion. Um, this board though, uh, that has the same X-Max preamps that our Gen 1 mixers had that everyone loves so much. But this one is a little different hardware wise in the sense that you know, the old mixers had a, had a hard firewire connection built into the back of the right, board. Right, exactly. This one ships with uh, an I.O. card that has firewire 800, but since we added that I.O. card, you now have expandability. We're going to be putting out a Thunderbolt card, an AES. Nice. Uh, AES. AVP, I meant. Yeah. And Dante. And so now, instead of this being a firewire button, we call it the digital button because it's nice. It's versatile. It's expandable into the future. That's really cool, you know, and that's what what makes this board so amazing to bring home from an event, and put in the studio when you've got that kind of, uh, you know, this kind of I/O, and then that kind of throughput throughput on uh, on a, on a digital uh, platform. So basically, when you're running, um, let's say Thunderbolt, how what what frequency rate can we run at? What bit rate and how many channels? Well. You know, Thunderbolt is not something that we have out yet. It's something we're going to release. Excellent. So the details of that are not defined yet. Okay. Um, currently, the board runs at 44.1 and 48k sampling rates. Okay. Um, Thunderbolt's going to offer us a lot of opportunity. Absolutely. So we're going to be exploring, you know, new levels of performance that we've never seen before. And the, the PC industry is starting to adopt Fire uh, Thunderbolt. You know, as time goes on, and it's coming out now. So. It is. You're, you're starting to see it a lot more and more. I mean, FireWire 800s. Fantastic, um, you know USB three uh, definitely gets the job done. Uh, this Thunderbolt's a new thing, but you know I, it, it, it's, if Apple says it's the new thing, it's going to be the new thing, and it, it's coming in full effect. We 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 all we all obey Apple. So um, you know I just wanted to say you know I I know uh, I, I probably got four friends that that own uh, one one of the uh, Studio Live boards you know in the family, and every last one of them are extremely happy with it. I've never had any bad feedback on these things. It's just right. a it's a workhorse, you know. And again, without doing the automated phase. We're also keeping the price point way, That's way right. low. And uh, you know, Matt, man, I can't tell you thanks, uh, uh, thanks enough. It's always great to see you year after year, man. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Will Scully, AudioSavings.com for all your pre-sonus needs.